What is up everybody, I'm Mr. Bobby, and welcome to 1145 of Vivid Life. Trigger warning, by the way, the game contains depictions of self-mutilation, some conversations allude to abuse and PTSD. Nudity. A game where the first sentence to describe it is a weird little story, which means I gotta play it. Laney, I don't go back to live a normal life until I got through this. I can't go back until I go through this. Okay, I can read words. Please come home. Oh, voice on the radio. Please come home. Did you start the tape recorder? This is gonna get weird. No matter what you hear, please stay put. If anything were to happen to me, this transmission will serve as a testimony. The skeleton inside of me isn't mine. I'm in the process of investigating what's going on. Yes, I tried discarding the idea at first. However, once you're convinced of something like this, an absolute horror, get, uh, absolute horror gets a hold of you. Picture being inhabited by a stranger. You can't just go about attending school after the realization. The best course of action is to steal an x-ray machine and escape to the country to peek into your own body. Are you still with me? Please come home. Good. What? I don't know how you're going to power this up. 11.45. A vivid life. Okay, then. All right, I've set up camp. I'll keep you posted on my advances through the radio. I brought a med kit in case the x-ray showed some strange body under my skin. And don't worry, I know my ways around a scalpel. What? Okay, x-ray, I guess. And there's nudity. Um, looks like feet to me. Like my feet are sized very differently. They're like two shoe sizes apart. They're so different, these bones may come from different humans. Whoever put the skeleton inside me isn't familiar with the human body. Learn in class, we humans aren't symmetrical. This is not conclusive. Um, they are very different sizes. I don't know. Uh, I guess they may come from different people. Whoever built my skeleton may have used different humans as their source. Now I abhor my body even more. Okay. Okay, well then stop expecting that. Knees. Nope. What's up with the scar on my leg? Hmm, some small round object. What is it doing inside of me? I better extract it and get a closer look. Good. This is now taking... Okay, deep breaths. Bullets! I've never cut so deep into my thigh. Here goes nothing. Why have you cut into your thigh before? Oh my god! Ugh, it's a bullet. I had a bullet inside my thigh. Now I remember Johan's game with his gun. This is a special caliber used by Russian agents. The wound is old. Was I shot as a kid? I mean, was I shot as a kid? I don't have any memories of this. But I do recall a smell. It's making me want to cry. We promised to start digging randomly in our flesh. Okay. Good. Um. I was shot as a kid. I know memories from where we were. Our kids are supposed to be nebulous, confusing. But I feel there's something in my head blocking them. And my images don't get to me. But the sounds do, the smells do, especially the smells, yes. The wound in my side is so old, the scar deformed my growth. I was shot as a kid, and this bullet has been somehow living inside of me for years. Oh, and so her leg wouldn't grow. It smells like burnt flesh and rubble, the smell of high-pitched screams. Please come home. These bones ache. Because you're shot, and I, that means, hey. I guess that if you were to create a skeleton, the most basic ingredients would be human bones. After examining my feet through x-rays, I feel like my body could be some sort of collage. Uh, that realization makes me feel even more detached from my insides. My skeleton just isn't just not mine now, it's no one's. I would guess it doesn't make a difference, but it does. There is my craving for identity. I'm just some human scrapbook. Okay. Anything in this one? No. Uh, pelvis, I guess. Nothing. Hand. Nothing. 
this hand. What is this? Looks like it's an electronic device. I don't like the idea of keeping that inside of me. Okay, deep breaths. Microchip. Looks like a microchip. It's blinking. It's a tracking device. Someone's watching my movements. Probably. Somehow I can tell. Why would any intelligent agency want to keep track of me? Uh, founding a tracking device under my skin. Okay, we may be in serious trouble. I found a tracking of your device under my skin. It is blinking and looks military. Should I destroy it? What is it doing inside of me? Is my skeleton property of some government secret agency? That would explain a lot. Please come home. Ugh, this is getting me paranoid. Or me paranoid. More paranoid, I guess. Anything in my elbow area? What about my stomach? Because there's going to be some shit in here. Um... Throw up. Hope it doesn't smell much. Oh, the taste is awful. What is it doing inside of my stomach? Looks like coagulated blood and pus. The smell is terrible. So the first time I've seen this, though, I have an unhealable wound inside from when my belly was pierced. Um, I vomited blood and pus. Since I have memory, the doctor said that was untreatable, that I'd, it'd heal as I grow. I don't remember the visit, though. It's just what I've always been told. Not that I cared much, because this has always been with me. It doesn't happen often, maybe six or seven times a year. If I stare long enough at this gross puddle, my ears start ringing. Vision goes numb, and the taste of rotten blood evokes some old trauma of of something spears in my stomach. Laying in the ground, black clouds over purple clouds. Being wrapped in a blanket by some people in uniforms. I don't really like where this is going, because it, it it's... It's it's already it's so negative. Anything? This side? No. Shoulder. Ooh, there's something in my neck. Some of the skeleton's cervical discs have been replaced. Takes me back to the day Johan pushed me out of the window. That day, I couldn't take it anymore. I was trying to escape when he... Um... Why is my one eye different? These teeth are artificial. I should take a closer look at them. It's a crystal eye. I could gauge that and examine it closely. How abused was she as a child? Let's just, okay. Remove eye from cavity. Okay, eye out. Let's, let's take a quick look and put it back. I can feel the cold air inside my skull. It's really unpleasant. Um, I lost this eye during archery practice. School should do a maturity test before accepting archery students. This is going to hurt. I should have stolen a bottle of vodka while I was at it. Oh, what a terrible. Now my mouth feels all weird. In addition to not being mine, I guess. And these teeth almost look and feel like the real thing. This game is taking such not where I thought it was going. This is not where I thought this game was going to go. This game is so much heavier and not as strange as I thought it was going to be. I almost died the day Johan beat me with a frying pan. That was the last time he hit me. Thank God. I did never tell you about how I lost my eye, did I? In one of my early life crises, I joined an archery club to try and make some friends. Why archery? Ah, you see... I'm a bitch for fantasy novels, and archers are usually among my favorite characters. I guess you already know where this is going to go, right? Short story, we recreated Williams tell infamous, infamous scene, and I was the one with the apple on the head. I, I'm so sorry. 
I'm gonna tell you about how Johan hurt my back. That day Johan's screams didn't paralyze me, it was worse. They haunted my legs. My skeleton would start running towards the window, not willing to endure another of Johan's beatings. In case you didn't know, when your skeleton decides to override the instructions from your muscles, you just turn into a puppet. So my bones jumped out of the window. I fell on top of a car, but it wasn't then when the spine was damaged. It was the typewriter Johan threw out the window that crushed my back. That's how I got the cervical disc replacements. Silver lining is this skeleton never overtook control again. Johan was frying some eggs and bacon. He was going through a great phase, months without getting violent. Finally, a medication that worked. I, care, I caressed his back out of joy and support. The bacon cracked on the pan and a burning drop of oil hit his eye. He pushed me back and hit me with the pan in the face. In that moment, I didn't notice. I just lost three teeth. I fell on the kitchen floor and he started beating me with the burning pan. They had to remove bits of the swimsuit I was wearing from the burnt skin. My back still keeps some dreadful marks from that hot oil. I ran away after I left the hospital, never seen Johan again. Is there more? I think there's more. Oh, there's wrist ones over there. It's a fracture. I can't feel any pain, but it looks like it healed badly. skateboarding accident. I used to be all the park when I was 13. I was so ashamed of that accident. I have like a thing on my leg there, but... I discovered a fracture on my arm. However, this one is my fault. The skeleton may not be mine, but I broke it. It was a skateboarding accident. The thing that I was so embarrassed falling in front of my friends that I hid the pain. Not even dared to say anything at home. Got a bit addicted to painkillers during those days. Poor kid. As you'd expect, the fracture didn't heal very well. Now I have this chronic pain to bear with. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug enough around my body for life. So far, all i found points towards a clear conclusion. I don't really know what this one's gonna mean. My skeleton pertains to Johan. Hey, I finished peeking into my body. I know who skeleton this is now. It's, it's Johan's. He stole it from me. I escaped from him, from him time ago. But these bones won't ever be mine again. My body is so beaten it doesn't belong to me anymore. I've been conquered. It's been conquered. I won't ever be able to feel proud of my physique. But at least I recovered my will. I'm a haunted ca carcass that roams the earth. I am as free as a ghost. I want to go home. Um. Please come home. What? What weird story of abuse was that? Oh my god. That was interesting though. That was a, that was like an interesting way 
That was an interesting game concept. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and or subscribe. Or don't is up to you. You want to be first after all. And I'll see you all latest. <laughs>